<laughs> oh, what's up? Didn't see you guys there. Actually, I did because I set up the camera. I wanted to share something with you guys before I get in the video. Um, apparently, you can't trust thoughts. Who would have guessed? Just playing. That's a good song, though. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking about, if you read the title, it's obviously going to be over creatine. Bow. Creatine, and specifically, this is uh, by Optimum Nutrition, Micronized Creatine Powder, Creatine Monohydrate. It's important that I say monohydrate. Um, the reason being with that is because there's a uh, liquid, they have like a liquid uh, form of creatine, and they have different variations of creatine. Um, creatine, if you don't know, is the number one most researched supplement in the world. Um, and also, last year, just this last year in 20, 2014, it grossed over a uh, hundred million dollars in sales so there's obviously a reason why everybody's buying it and it's not even well the monohydrate form is not that expensive the monohydrate form is actually the cheapest it's the purest and the cheapest uh, other companies they try to put the mix too much stuff with creatine and they actually not even using creatine monohydrate which is the one that all the research has been done on so I wouldn't really trust all those other ones you can give it a try see how you like it but monohydrate is the one that all the tests have been done on and like I said, it's also the cheapest. This one is 114 servings. You can pick it up for probably around 20 bucks or something like that at bodybuilding.com. You can get it at GNC. You can get it at Vitamin World, wherever. Just make sure you're getting creatine monohydrate. Now, I want to show, I want to demonstrate to you guys how you're supposed to take creatine because there's like, I don't know. Apparently, people think there's a whole bunch of different ways to take creatine. It's not gonna come with a scooper. I don't know why. So I got my own little scooper in here. Take the lid off. Put the creatine in the lid. Let's see. Find out where I you get your dollar bill. You get your creatine. And then you pick whichever side of your body um, is stronger. So like my left side stronger. So I want to do my right side so that way I get a little bit more growth to my right side of my body. So can you see that in there? Make sure you get it in that way to regulate and get to the right side of your body and help you get big <clears throat> on that side, bigger and stronger. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Do not snort creatine. It's a terrible idea. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. Creatine is. Don't snort. It's bad for your nasal passages. It's not going to get into your body really any much faster. Or anything like that. It's not cocaine, so don't snort it. Don't do cocaine either. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Don't do them. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um. Some people, I, I guess, have tried snorting creatine. You don't want to do that. It will mess up your nasal passages. It might get in your bloodstream a little bit faster, but with creatine, that's not going to make any bit of difference, as I'll get into here in a little bit, because of the fact that creatine isn't something that you get, boom, quick, instant results from. It's not an anabolic steroid. It's not a drug like caffeine or caffeine. You'll get instant stimulant effects. You'll get you'll feel it right away. Creatine doesn't work like that. You're not gonna take creatine and automatically just um, just feel the effects from it. It's something that you get benefits from with a little bit more prolonged use. So how that works is let me get into I actually have a I got notes written down about it. it's not a drug. You're not gonna get instant uh, effects from it like you would like something caffeine. And a lot of people there's a lot of controversy over it. Um, with not real controversy just uh, in general I guess you could say it's more of lack of knowledge it is probably more so uh, what's the word I'm looking for I guess it's probably just more so ignorance I guess one could say um, a lot of people they'll be like oh creatine's a steroid blah 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 it's not it's natural your body actually produces creatine and you also get creatine from high protein source meats um, I believe mainly more so in red meats such as like beef and steak, things like that. So it's not a steroid. It's not going to have steroid-like effects. What happens is your body has creatine stores and actually whenever you do any kind of anaerobic activities or heavy lifting, uh, also why a lot of Olympic athletes will use it because of the fact that creatine is the first, like I said, you have stores of it, it's the first um, energy source that your body will go to to use for energy so anything quick burst they're real powerful anything like that your body's going to use creatine it's going to use the creatine stores first first 
and then move on to uh, the next sources from there. So that's why a lot of Olympic athletes use it. Like I said, obviously, if they're using it, there's a reason why they're using it. It works. So you could do research on your own and see. But like I already said, it is the number one most researched supplement out there. So what happens is when you take creatine, um, it will go into your stores, it will go into the bodies, and your body will absorb it. So basically what happens is for energy, you have ATP, which is aden adenosine triphosphate. And what happens is it plucks off a phosphate and uses that for energy. But the ATP, since you took off the phosphate, it gets turned into ADP, adenosine diphosphate. So now instead of having three phosphate heads, it only has two because it used the other one for the energy. And what happens is when you have creatine, you supplement with creatine and you have the stores there. So you have creatine floating around in there. And then what creatine does, it donates a phosphate back to the ADP, converting it to ATP again. So you have adenosine triphosphate again using, once again, being able to use that for energy. So essentially, it's giving you more energy, um, I guess you say more power, endurance, more to complete that last rep or two, or whatever you're doing in that sense. So that's what creatine does. That's how it works like that. Uh, I had a couple notes written down. Just want to go over it, make sure I didn't forget anything. Like I said, it's the one most researched. So, you know, there's not really any negative side effects that uh, have been shown or anything like that. With other creatines, like I already mentioned, that's why you need to stick with monohydrate. A lot of other creatines, I guess people have had uh, problems, I don't know, like bloating problems or stomach or something like that, but that's because they're not on monohydrate. So make sure you cr get creatine monohydrate when you go and get your creatine. Um, see what else. So a lot of people talk about water, um, not necessarily stomach bloating, but just like an overall bloat with water. I wouldn't say necessarily you get a bloat from creatine. If you are, you're probably taking too much because creatine, yes, it is true. It will make you um, hold a little bit more water, but that's not a bad thing at all. It's actually a very good thing. So what happens is it goes into your muscles, the creatine goes into your muscle stores, and it will draw the water in and it will draw the ions in, which is actually beneficial because it draws in, not only is it keeping the muscle hydrated and all the other kinds of reaction that goes on in there with the water that it needs, but also it's drawing in the ions needed for protein synthesis, which is the rebuilding of muscle. So it's obviously very important you're going to want that in there because you want your muscles to grow. So um, you might, you know, you might hold them to a little bit water, but you're not going to like take routine. You know, you're not going to look massive or anything. I mean, you have no guns like that. <laughs> you will have a little bit, a little bit. It's not going to be anything crazy, nothing like that. Um, when's the best time to take it? Uh, I guess you could say it's really your own preference. Uh, I would personally recommend taking it after after a, a workout, so post-workout with juice or any kind of simple carbohydrates, something like that to get a mini spike in your insulin naturally. And if you don't know what insulin does, is it essentially it opens, it does a lot of other things, but essentially it opens up the cell and allows for nutrients and other things to enter in the cell. So you want to have your body's insulin naturally shoot up so that way when you take it and you have the creatine with your juice or whatever, um, your insulin levels will go up, so it'll open up the cells more, and it'll be able to put all this creatine right where you want it to go, um, which is going to be beneficial, like I said, with uh, bringing over the water and the ions and all the nutrients that you're going to need. So that's that with that. And also, I want to go over one last thing. About on the back of it says uh, a lot. A lot of people questions: Do you have to um, creatine load? Do you have to cycle with it? The answer is. Once again, personal preference. Okay, so for me, I don't think loading is necessarily, um, it's not something that you have to do. It will just get you the, it will get your muscles saturated with the creatine faster. So what they recommend on the back, I think it's anywhere from like 15 to 20 grams a day for about five to seven days. And then after that, you go down to a maintenance dose of five grams per day which you could do that, that'd be perfectly fine. Or the other option is you could just uh, start right off the bat with the maintenance phase of five milligrams per, you know, uh, just five milligrams a day for a month, so 30 days. You By that time, you'll have the exact same, well, roughly about the exact same amount of creatine stores as you would have if you would have creatine loaded. I think, uh, personally, one of the reasons that they put that on the label is because uh, maybe, when you, because you're putting in so much creatine at one time over that short amount of time, 
you will draw in a little bit more water and you might think you look a little bit bigger so you'll think you're getting some kind of crazy results or something like that it's gonna be more of a mental thing because you'll have a little bit of water in there so you might look a little bit fuller or something like that so uh, a lot of the companies might be putting that on there so that way you can get like a little uh, psychological thing going on and you're like oh I'm gonna be I'm gonna get real swole real jack real quick from this um, so you don't necessarily have to do that like I said if you just do it for a month uh, straight off starting with the maintenance dose It'll, you'll have the, the same effects, it's just not going to be as quick. So it's not really a big, any kind of big difference. It's not going to hurt or help you if you do one over the other. Um, it just depends. If you creatine load, you'll just go through creatine a little bit faster. Because you got to think if you're you know, doing, so you'd be doing anywhere from three to four of the servings for the five to seven days. So you're going to be using up a lot more of the creatine real quick. So it would probably be in your best interest, you know, um, just to wait. Just to take start off with the uh, the maintenance dose, just the five milligrams a day or whatever, and just stick with that. And also with cycling, you do not have to cycle. Some people choose to cycle. Do you need to? No. Is it going to hurt you? No. Um, but our body, the body is an amazing thing. It learns to adapt very quick. So your body may adapt to it over time. So it's not going to be a bad idea if you want to get off of it for one or two weeks, something like that. Then get back on. You might notice um, maybe a little bit. more increase in muscle endurance and maybe power um, over a short uh, span or something which is you know it's ultimately going to lead to positive effects which is what you want so the main reason for taking creatine is because it will help with endurance it'll help with your strength and it'll help with uh, the quick short burst power so creatine is good you need to get creatine um, stop wasting your money on all these other kinds of crap muscle building blah 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 um, Get, get yourself a good creatine monohydrate, get yourself um, a, a good solid whey protein. I've done the review over uh, my personal preferences, my opinions on the protein, and you'll be set. I mean, if you want to pick up a multivitamin or fish oil, omega-3, that's not going to be a bad idea either, but definitely make sure you get your creatine in and get your protein in. So make sure you like my video, comment on it, subscribe, let me know what you guys want to see next. Share the video, share with your mom, share with your cousin, share with your boyfriend, girlfriends, cousins, sisters, nephews, wife, twice removed from the family's nephew, okay? So, share it, and get back to me. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll see you later. Check out the heck bicep cut, literally. <laughs>